Hey, what's happening, good people? It's me, your homegirl, Adosha Wright. Welcome to our YouTube channel if you are new. And if you are returning, welcome back. Remember, on this channel, we say never fear because hair help is here provided. You do one thing and one thing only, and that is please be kind online, for this is a no hair shaming zone. And as always, I do have a bonus tip at the end of the video so stick around all right so this video i'm going to do a review of the dyson air straight um tool so dyson has a plethora of tools that you can find out more about them on their website uh, if you are wondering like i've heard of dyson before and you probably have because they are known for their uh, vacuum cleaners which explains how they got into hair care because according to their website they have a love affair with airflow technology and boy this thing is pretty impressive so here um, is the device unboxed and look at the design with all of the images and the buttons i mean if you are a hair geek then this is going to be something that you might be like okay let's see what you got here key lolo so um you have the option of how you want to use this you can use it on damp hair or you can use it on dry hair you can select uh fast medium slow on your speed of course on your heat you can go low medium hot and very hot which by the way this sucker gets pretty hot uh, it also has the ability to um, uh, be clean so it, it has a self-cleansing uh, button and of course it has the cool shot so all of the little um, you know uh, gadgets on it the little buttons it makes it pretty cool so I'm going to get ready to use it and I think um, you know let's let, let's just see what happens here so here it is uh, oh also here's a little image I got from the website so you can see how the air flows downward away you know from your face okay oh yeah dude they have this cool app that comes with the device when you purchase it you can upload it on your phone and just kind of track how you're using it okay so here is the device so again I'm going to select that I'm going to use it on damp hair and I'm going to use medium heat and again the airflow is going to go away from the hair now this is mannequin hair um supposedly human but y'all know there ain't no humans hair but anywho so there it is on damp hair and i'm like uh oh so again this is how the air is flowing through the unit uh it, it, this is one of those things that i would say it's good in theory <laughs> i don't know in practice so i flipped it the other way i know y'all like girl you're so backwards but i just wanted to see you know and mm, okay i flip it back the other way and it is drying the hair now remember this mannequin's hair is damp okay like 80 percent dry like literally damp and uh, anywho okay so here were some images that um dyson had on their website i don't know why because that made me very skeptical i'm like why y'all doing that okay so clearly they're trying to target african americans uh with textured hair and uh okay so anywho there's a design um there's a the little you know, little uh what do you call those grooves or holes to show you how the air comes out um i think the design it's bulky but given all that it does it can't be that slender so um here is a youtuber who's using it and as a cosmetologist i'm gonna tell you right now that is a no-no uh here is another youtuber who liked it compared to the Rev Air. So I said, okay, hold on, Kilolo. Let me do that too. So in this video, I'll show you uh, how the fabric looked between the Rev Air and the Dyson Air Straight. And so here goes my two cents comparing the Rev Air to the Dyson Air Straight. So the bottom is the Dyson Air Straight. And as you can see, up close, y'all know me, I like my videos to be up close. That thing ain't working. Mm -mm. 
and this baby got color in her hair so here is the rev air booyah time to give it to ya so rev air is winning from a cosmetologist standpoint now if you don't know how the hair is supposed to be baby you go for what you know so i'm just showing you a fabric analysis with this young man who's earning pants better on pants that are already what smooth like the rev air it's going to give you better results if you're going to braid the hair or flat on it and that's a little i call this potato chip hair it's real crunchy you know so mm -mm. and that's how it is like a balled up piece of fabric but you know you can't iron it you got to start all over again uh so the ends mm, a little potato chippy um and I, I would imagine if you have softer hair it's just gonna feel even worse okay so here's the bonus tip of why smoother hair is going to be more efficient when it comes to braiding or flat ironing okay so here i'm going to show you flat ironing because i don't do that much braiding but anywho you guys kind of get where i'm going with this okay so um here's the rev air stretching the fabric out and getting it closer to the scalp now i could have used that on dry, dry hair but i tried it on damp and it just uh, i don't know so anywho uh the rev air is just going to work or a blow dryer would definitely be better so in conclusion i'm gonna give it a honest to goodness thumbs down um i think it's good in theory but not in practice so save your money but if you just must i don't know thumbs down hmm. anywho Check us out every Monday on the dumbest sh that people say about black hair. Don't forget, come on, y'all, subscribe to our channel. Check us out every Thursday on Planet Pluto Pseudo. You know what we say when we're signing out, right? Love, peace, and hair grease. You know.